Hi, welcome to my video. Uh, I hope you all are doing great. Uh, so today I'm going to talk or I'm going to explain you how you can get only the duplicate records or uh, and uh, how you can ignore the duplicate records and get only the non-duplicate records. So uh, to do this, there are two scenarios uh, that is Let's say uh, you have a number of columns and you only need to check based on certain columns to identify the duplicate records. And another one is where the entire column should be considered for checking the duplicate record. So these two scenarios, how you, we, uh, we can uh, implement this in using UI path uh, and get our required uh, output that is only the duplicates and only the non-duplicates so uh, let's go let's dig in to uh, the UI path with, um, studio here if you see let me take out a sequence let me rename it as get the duplicate records okay so before uh, going into this, let me show you an, an Excel file that I have created to identify the or to work on this particular Excel where we can differentiate or we can get the data. If you see, you have a, uh, I have a two columns that is name and age. If you observe over here, the column two and column four are same. Similarly, column three and column seven are same but column 5 and column 6 are not exactly the same if you consider both the columns but if you consider column 8 then this will also be seen so now let me go into the UI part studio and uh, let's start so first let me read this particular excel i'll use a workbook I'll tell the bot to read this particular exam or excel file and let me give a range as nothing it can either i can give the name starting from a1 to a8 which only reads this much otherwise i can <laughs> the, if i give nothing then or blank then it means read entire sheet and if you open the property panel and if you see over here add header it is checked that's good now let me create a variable output variable for this name data so our entire um, workflow or data manipulation is done on this particular main data so let me go back to activity panel and take out the activity called assign so now i am here writing a data table or let me do one thing let me create a new data table called main data 2 Oh, I'm sorry about, yeah, main DT2. Okay, so let me quickly go and change its variable type. Now, I'll be writing a link query for the first option that is only uh, uh, using the column names. Let me type the link query over here. That is, so before going into that let me explain you what i'm going to do over here so what i'm trying to do over here is i have i have only one data table uh, in this particular data table which are the duplicates so what i'll do is i'll be uh, using the same that as main dt and in this main dt uh, let's say that there is a variable called p1 and the same main dt i'll use which will be a variable called p2 so what i'll do a lot or what i'll create a logic saying that p1 of column name is equal to p2 of column name so this is entire uh, and this whole thing is uh, will be a function so when you create a link query, what will happen? 
uh, it will uh, check mean uh, dt's uh, column one with column mean uh, with the mean dt two uh, a variable that we have created uh, its column mean. So now let me go to the UI part studio and write the uh, code from t. This is a variable for mean dt one or main dt there is no main, main dt1 main dt dot select mm -hmm. open the bracket releases and next from where again from q in main dt dot select Now, there is some mistake because if you see, there is a red mark over here. I, if you just over here, you will see in as expected, which means I have missed in here. Let me add. So, till now, everything is correct. So, if what I have to do now is here, again, where condition will apply, where Q of my column name which is let me open it name okay dot equals p dot of oh, sorry p again you got open and name now again i missed something which is bracket over here and then i need to close the bracket of equal now once this is done i i completed the uh checking for first row or first column now again uh let me take out this one as well the so age and age bracket open the oh I'm sorry I that is q of age dot equals bracket open bracket close p of age uh, let me teach. Okay, so once this is done, now I, what I have to do is select Q. Okay, after doing this, I have a uh, bracket over here, but not for the equal. So I added that. Now, the, there is no red or error in the query we just written so again it is not done yet so the next thing what we have to write is so we are we, if i just save this one this will have a <coughs> this will throw an error it says that the value of type system dot collection dot generate uh, enumerable of system data dot or row or data row so that is not our expected output so what i have to do right now is have to convert this into dot to array okay and get the count of this which is greater than one and select p which is because if we, we are not done yet what i did over here is get the count of this if the count is greater than one if which means that if, if you are comparing this one the column a and column b and its respective rows that is this row uh, let's say consider this one so if this one will be compared with the whole data and if, if the count is greater than one then we are seeing it as it's a 
duplicate record. So if that is true, then take out those data. So array dot copy to data table. Okay. This is what we have to do. And again, if I see copy to data row is not a member, I miss something over here. It is not copy data table, it's a copy to data table. So now that is done, let me save it. So if you see over here, I got a main DT2. Let me do one thing. Let me print these two data table. Output uh, data table and one more one, uh, output data table. The first output data table will print main DT. Main DT and the next one will print the main DT2. Let me add some more information so that we will get to know when we run the job. Main DT Main DT and similarly let me copy this one this dot main DT two okay so it's not done yet I have to output variable that is let me see main dt str which is in a string format so let me type it over here dt str this is an here let me move this here now for this, let me move this local message below the output variable and type type the value over here as mean d two two str mean d two two str. Hmm. Now that's done. So let me run this bot. Let me close this Excel. Do not save it and trigger. It started, it ended, and now if you see main, let me okay. Um, if you see over here, main dt output of main dt includes first one, two, three, four, five, six. That is Alex, two records which are duplicates and two record is duplicate and direct two records are there. Now the main DT2 which is a are uh, get only the duplicate records will return Alex and Sam. So this is one. Now let's go for The other one where you will be getting the records of uh, the second part is using array item. So let me open this one. Getting the data or, or checking entire column and getting the duplicate record. So for this, let me take a copy of this and comment this one. Take out this. And over here, if I see, since I'm using it as a name, right? Uh, that as individual column names. Instead of this, I have to use dot item array. Okay. Now dot sequence equal bracket p dot item array okay and close this so whatever is there i'll just remove it till the before the select queue so this is done let me run it 
done now let's see the records are as expected so this is one another way now we done with get the duplicate record now let's go and check for or how we can ignore this duplicate record and get only the non duplicate Record. To do this again, there are two ways. One is okay. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me change the scope of this variable to all and this one also to all. Okay. Now here. Main DT two. So for the individual column, we can use as data view concept. That is, let me write the code over here. Main DT dot as data view dot to table. Now. Here, if I give it as true, it will ignore the duplicates and it will give you only the non-duplicate value or distinct records. It will it will not contain the duplicate records. So name and age. done now let me do one thing let me instead of writing it again and again let me copy these steps it's just printing the data right let me copy those steps from the previous sequence which is over here so the first output dt is a main or main dt and output of uh, log message of that uh, main dt and second output data table, which is the one we just uh, which will include non duplicates, and this is the non duplicate print print of the non duplicate record. So let me run this one now. Okay, let's go. Done. If you see, this is the data, original data, and this is after the filtration that is alex instead of two only one we have sam instead of two one we have derek we have two because the ages are different that's what our expectation so let's go and let me comment this one let's go for the second one where we can uh what will what should check the entire column and remove the duplicate. So, UiPath provides you an activity called remove duplicate row. Okay. We can use that and property. There are two things I need to provide over here the input as main and output should be in main data 2. Okay. Now, let me run it. Again, okay. we got our expected result. So that's how we do the filtration. If you have any other way that we can implement or uh, we can get the duplicate and it do the non duplicate, please do write it in the comments. I have uploaded the files in this git, git folder. Uh, this is my user ID. Uh, I'll share the link below uh, in the description. You can check out that and get the files from the gift. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, please do. And click on the like button and share as much as possible. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.